In Egypt, history is on show for all of us to see. Every day, thousands of tourists visit the ancient sites and look in awe at the ancient marvels that are spread far and wide across the region. It is absolutely teeming with untold history and stunning artifacts. Perhaps the most stunning discoveries are still to be made as we connect the dots. But what if we were to tell you that the Egyptian government has been hiding one of the most stunning examples of ancient construction that has ever existed. What if we were to tell you that not only are they hiding this place as a militarized complex, but they were actively filling it with trash. You heard us correctly, guys. Just wait until you hear this. What we are about to tell you here, guys, is a showstopper. It is a stunning example of lost history, and we have proof in the form of photos and video that this was a stunningly important place in the very distant past to the point that could surpass any other construction on the earth. We have heard a few theories that this was linked to the great ziggurat of Ur, but we will stick with the facts for now. Directly east across the Nile from Memphis, there is a place called Zawet Al Aran, and it could prove to be the most stunning construction of all time. When you look at this site today, there is nothing there. The Egyptian government has filled it in full of trash and allowed the sand from the desert to cover it. Why is that, do you think? This is a cover-up and suppressing history on this scale is absolutely shocking. When we look at the diagrams and photos at how great this place actually is, then you have to ask the question of why. Why are they hiding this from the world in a militarized zone? What have they found that they don't want the rest of the world to know about? In 1837, this pyramid was destroyed for the masonry in order to build the nearby town. So we will never really know how tall it was but the gigantic cavity was still left and documented in the 1900s. So get this, the flooring is made of granite blocks that are up to 15 feet long and eight feet high and possibly weighing upward of 170 tons. And there are dozens of these blocks, guys. Just how was this possible in the remote past if it is impossible today? In a photograph, there is an oval hole in the ground, as if it had been cut out to house something of mega importance. Could this in fact be evidence of a chamber that was designed to house a huge electric capacitor? You can even see the lid to this chamber, which looks pretty smooth as if cut by a machine. Just what was found here? What was lost here? This is hidden knowledge, make no mistake. This is something which is completely unlike anything that has ever been publicly acknowledged as a discovery in the ancient region. It is completely out of place and it is increasingly obvious that not only were places like this reoccupied after the Great Flood, they were also claimed by the dynastic Egyptians who were the descendants of the survivors of the Flood. In 1904, the Italian archaeologist Alessandro Barsanti excavated the site in great detail. He invited the Director General of the Supreme Council of Egyptian Antiquities to the vast site who was completely dumbfounded at the scale of size and he is quoted as saying the following. I hope that the best informed amongst the tourists will come to admire the monument. The pleasure they will experience during this trip is worth the two or three hours it will take. At first, the immensity of the task undertaken by the Egyptians will not appear to them. It is only at the bottom of the stairway when they will walk upon the granite pavement that it will become obvious. It is not that anything in particular when examined in details is remarkable or out of the ordinary but the general feeling is one of those one never forgets. The size and richness of the materials, the perfection of the cuts and joints, 
the peerless finish of the granite sarcophagus, the boldness of structure, and the sheer height of the walls, everything comes together to compose this so far unique ensemble. It is an awe-inspiring shock and nowhere is the power and majesty of the old Egyptian architects so suddenly and strongly obvious as here. It seems today that this would indeed be a major tourist destination and add hundreds of millions to the coffers of the Egyptian government every year, but for some reason they have chosen to hide it from the world. You can't even see it from the sky and it just seems strange that this should be the case. Is what was discovered here worth more than the billions it would generate? Is there ancient advanced technology still present here which could change the course of history and completely dispel the ancient history which we are forced fed? Egyptologists across the globe should be ashamed that they are part of this massive attempt to not only keep history buried but also keep us on a course of deception that is on an unimaginable scale across the globe. Strangely, our best imagery comes from Hollywood as to what this site looked like. In the 1954 film Land of the Pharaohs, it shows a gigantic shaft cut deep into the earth. This gives us a brief look at least as to the scale we are talking about here. Stunning, right? Why today is it surrounded by a very significant military camp? There are even tanks stationed here. Is it to defend it? Who knows? It's astonishing. If you guys have any further information available about the site at Zawet Al Aran, then we would love to hear what you have to say, so comment below. Small shockwaves can have lasting effects, guys. Thanks for watching.